involved in. One of the questions that math teachers get on a routine, routine basis is, when are we ever going to use this? So the project that the students are working on is taking the math skills that they've learned in this class and previous classes and applying it to real life. They're using a 3D program called Google SketchUp to create a 3D model of their dream home. Um, the first step is to, just like in an architecture firm, they make a list of all the rooms they want, followed by a bird's eye view of kind of a rough sketch of their home, kind of laying out which rooms they want next to each other, where they want to place their garage, all of those you know, fun things. Um, the next step is to figure out how big they want each room. A lot of the kids, we first measure the classroom so they get an idea of how big, you know, say 30 by 30 is, which is the dimensions of my class. Um, so once they do that, they can then figure out how big their classrooms are. Some teachers and other people have said, well, you should tell them they can only do so big. The whole point is it's their dream. So I tell them the sky's the limit. If you can dream it, you can have it. Um, kids in the past have had golden bathrooms. So they really get into it and use their imagination. Other kids have had the Millennium Falcon, the Batmobile. Another kid had his entire house made of glass. So it really is kind of letting them dream and see what they can really achieve if they set their minds to it. So then they do their scale model drawing. And there are, a lot of kids are like, well, that bathroom looks so small. So then we explain, well, if you take it in all the corners and stretch it out to be you know, an actual size that you could fit into, it would be the 15 by 15 you want or 5 by 10 or whatever the sizes you want. Then they go from there onto the computers once they've had their scale drawing signed off on. They then get to go onto the computer. They lay out the floor plan on the ground on the computer and then they start building some walls and then they get to go onto the internet and like I said anything they can imagine they can put into their bathroom, their homes. Um, some students got an amusement park in their backyard. Others did, you know, a roller coaster ride and then the beach. So it really kind of, they take the skills with perimeter, area, ratio, scale, proportion, all of these things that they learned, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, everything possible that they could learn and they apply it in this project. And the fun thing about it is a lot of the kids don't realize that this is what they're learning. They just kind of are like, oh, I'm going to do this to my home and I'm going to do this and I want my house to be a triangle. And, they have a lot of fun, but they don't realize they're also learning. And a lot of students tell me, and the feedback is, do this again. They want to do it again. And the only the complaint that I've had is they wanted more time. And students, the last block, took their projects home, some of them, and did it over winter break. They were asking, can I do this homework over winter break? I'm like, OK, sure, you can have more homework. <laughs> so a lot of the kids really get involved in it.